For two weeks, South Africans have clung to the hope that their good wishes and prayers would be enough to keep another of their heroes alive. But Ahmed Kathrada has now also succumbed to old age and ill health. But what a life he led, walking among the giants of our age, icons he called friends. When Walter died, I lost a father. And now I have lost a brother. My life is in a void, and I don't know who to turn to. Gathrada served 26 years and three months in prison alongside late President Nelson Mandela, daring to dream of equality during the brutal, oppressive decades of apartheid, willing to sacrifice his freedom for that of millions. The one passion uh, that he has, always had, was the question of non-racialism. He was a committed non-racialist. The second passion he had was a passion of his knowledge that it is from the ranks of the, today's youth that the leaders of tomorrow must emerge. Gathrada took great pleasure in showing visiting leaders around Robben Island, where he, Mandela and the other men sentenced to life in prison for sabotage and conspiracy spent years as political prisoners. Uncle Cathy, as he was affectionately known to South Africans, dedicated his life to the values of human rights and freedom of speech after apartheid was defeated by serving in Mandela's government. Freedom of speech he exercised to the ire of the governing African National Congress last year when he called for current President Jacob Zuma to step down. By it being said by someone who is as respected in the broader society, gives so much currency to the statement that he has made because people know it comes from a place that does not reflect any self-interest. Always thoughtful, relevant and a passionate advocate of what he thought best for the country he loved. Ahmed Kathrada died surrounded by family and in the thoughts of a nation.